Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. In the last video we started looking at globular proteins and we looked at the structure of the globular protein haemoglobin. In this video we're going to look at two more globular proteins. These are insulin and the enzyme lysozyme. Okay, now insulin is a hormone carried in the bloodstream and insulin plays a role in blood glucose regulation. Insulin consists of two polypeptide chains and these are shown as orange and green in the diagram. The two chains are linked by disulfide bonds and these are shown in yellow. Now hormones like insulin carry out their functions by binding to specific receptor molecules and these receptors are proteins found on the cell membrane of target cells. The shape of the insulin molecule means that it fits perfectly into its receptor and even slight changes to the shape of the insulin molecule could prevent it from binding effectively. So you need to remember that the shapes of protein hormones such as insulin are critical for how they bind to their receptors and carry out their effects. Okay, another example of globular proteins are enzymes. We're going to look at the enzyme lysozyme. Now I should point out that the OCR spec requires you to look at any named enzyme. I've chosen lysozyme because it clearly illustrates the points I want to make. Lysozyme is found in saliva and tears and its job is to catalyze the breakdown of a molecule in the bacterial cell wall and this helps to defend the body against bacteria. Now the key feature of any enzyme, including lysozyme, is that they only react with a specific substrate molecule and this specificity is due to the structure of the enzyme. I'm showing you a simplified structure of lysozyme here. Lysozyme consists of a single polypeptide chain. The chain folds to form a groove along the surface and this groove is called the active site. The shape of the active site means that it fits perfectly to the substrate molecule in the bacterial cell wall. The regions in blue show the location of the amino acids which hold the substrate in place and the regions in red show the location of the amino acids which catalyze the reaction. Because the active site is perfectly shaped to fit the substrate, this makes lysozyme extremely specific. In the next video, we'll take a look at fibrous proteins. 